is November, let me see, November 18th, um, it's 810 this morning, we went hunting, we just got out of that blind over there, that one right over there, um, we didn't see, we, we saw two big bucks, what are you doing turd? Recording. Mmm, what are you recording? Us. Mmm. Saw two um, big bucks um, and a, a couple a couple little bucks. Uh, mostly does. Uh, that's about it. I saw we, a bunch of pigs. <laughs> a bunch of pigs. Got them all at this feeder right here. Got any, anything to say, Daddy? No. That's all. Well, we're heading back to the bunkhouse, fixing to go eat breakfast. Uh, stay tuned. Okay. November 18th. It is 5.25. So, we've got a full couple coming in tonight. We're here at the HFR. Me and that thing. That, that kid thing that I've got. Um, <coughs> this morning... So at the beginning of the season, we'll start over. At the beginning of the season, Riley saw a big, big eight point on camera, and he's decided that he wants to kill that eight point. This eight point is probably going to go mid to high 140s. I mean, he's a big eight, okay? And Riley wants to kill this deer. Awesome. Cool. So this morning, we're sitting in a blind. Deer. We've seen him once. We can't get a shot. Well, this morning we're sitting up blind and, and we've got a 140 inch 10 point uh, with a split brow that came out and you know, he was there this morning for two hours. I mean, big deer. Big deer. Pretty deer. Beautiful. Beautiful buck. Split brow tile on his left side. Uh, 500 yards of Sendera. It's all stalkable. Hoping that this big eight would cross it and stop for the corn for a little while before the cold front. Well, here we are. We got 25 minutes of daylight left. And here's what's up. We've been sitting in the Jeep, by the way. We got a big pig. A big pig. And we got this kid. I told him if he could be down there by 15 till, I'd let him kill him. We'll see.
already worked the bolt. He's already back on him. This kid just put a 200 yard stalk on those pig and folded him. I mean, smoked him. Just smoked him. By the way, he's 11 years old and he's shooting his daddy's 270. Which y'all know about all that. Look at him laying down there. Here's the boy. Feet are still flat. He's still square behind the rifle. There's the pig. I'm not saying the world needs more men like me, but the world does need more boys like that. All right, so I drove up here to where Riley was. By the way, this is the berm at our uh, range, uh, our long range at uh, 1,280 yards. We do a little shooting every once in a while, you know. So anyway, I drove up here, talked to the boy about the shot, we discussed some things, and I told him, I said, well, walk up there and check on your pig. He said, Daddy, you gonna come with me? I said, nope, go on. So here he goes. I said, if he moves again, put another round in him. But do you think? Do you walk up? <clears throat> approach from the back he's got his scope on the lowest power just in case he needs it he's gonna walk up on him he's gonna give me a thumbs up here in just a minute y'all watch <laughs> There's my thumbs up. We're good. Have a great night. As always, here we are at the HFR. Now we're back at it again. We'll see you soon.